Six months into it, I think. Mm. Five or six months into it, the results for UPSC GSI came out. Yeah. Uh, so just because, just so that yeah. <laughs> the audience are aware, yeah. you had given your exams before you yeah, yeah. Uh, took your job at, yeah. at Molindale. So you had given your UPSC geology yeah. exams, right? Um, after the second semester, uh -huh. we in IIT we were we were we were all supposed to do like internships, industrial okay. training. Uh -huh. So I I I was doing an internship at ONGC in Kolkata. Okay. So actually. I wasn't even aware that the, the advertisement for the UPSC geology exam was out. Mm. But um, one day, my internship intern colleagues and all, they were discussing that today is the last day and all. Mm. So I also decided, like, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Okay. So I went to a cyber cafe. At that time, the cyber mm -hmm. cafes were very popular. So cyber cafe, I went there, I applied. And then I just didn't think any of it. Mm. Like I didn't think about it. Uh, like the exam dates were out, so I was like looking forward to the to giving the exam and all. Then I gave the exam in 2010, late 2010. I gave the exam, but the UPSC takes a long time to mm. like mm. the like process, yeah, the whole process. Interview. And then mm. you have the interviews and the medicals that come up after that. Mm. So I wasn't waiting for that result. I just joined Call India and mm. like I was. I wasn't expecting a good result also, but then surprisingly, I came out on like the seventh rank or something in, uh, yeah, the seventh rank in mm. the GSI exam. So I thought like, okay, then maybe I should consider like mm. shifting my job, my focus to GSI. Mm. So I also talk, uh, I, like talked with my seniors there at Call India and some of the, like the HOD, the general mm. managers mm. and all and they also all recommended like did you actually yeah, because coal india that? you'll be focused on only coal exploration mm. like you, there's no diversification of right right coal. right of course there is like uh, shale gas and all, but, mm. still but it's coal yeah, like it's more or less yeah just it's one more or yeah. less coal mm. and in gsi we get a lot of opportunities to explore different subjects mm. and like mm. travel a lot more yeah so uh, yeah i decided that yeah i mm. should join this so i quit coal india and then december of 2013 i joined the geological survey of india yeah and then after that we have one year of training mm. so we just like all over uh, every month we'll be in a different field training center mm, mm. and then uh, our training center is based in hyderabad okay so yeah one year of training then after that they'll be giving out our postings mm. so your first posting yeah. was i mean after you obviously did your training you got yeah. posted to meghalaya yeah uh Shilong. yeah in shillong yeah. and um you were there for you said eight years um eight? 2012 yeah yeah eight, eight nine years, years. Yeah. Eight, eight eight years yeah, okay yeah, almost eight so years. that i mean that's quite a long stint oh, yeah. first stint. so mm -hmm. um like i ha i have uh your bio also and it, it yeah. talks about um i just want you to explain a little bit about the fsps yeah and because that for that i can there. talk a little bit about gsi and what yeah what actually yeah yeah i think so um gsi is a really old organization uh, started way back in 1851 if I'm not mistaken, the second oldest in the country, next to the archaeological survey of the survey of India. I'm not sure okay. about, but yeah. So way back in 1851, the East India Company at that time, right. they were searching for coal to fuel their like uh, yeah. railways and all. Mm. The Industrial Revolution was happening, so it started based on coal exploration actually. Mm. But then as the years uh, progressed and as more and more demands were uh, coming, they they started the geological survey of india to mm. m like geologically map the entire country mm. and to see what resources that the country has mm. and all so it started so from so there so this was initiated by the east india company yeah or no, the british government the british empire okay the that british time yeah, yeah, yeah so okay. it was under the british mm -hmm. empire that time no? okay yeah so like gsi has come a long way from from there in 1851 mm. now to um GSI basically deals with um, baseline geological data, what we call. Okay. So what what that means is like um, the most basic information that we can get about geology. Mm. Say like what rocks we get in which place, mm. and what are the, wha um, uh, what are the mineral resources available? How much is available? Mm. And we don't do anything with mining. We are not involved with mining okay, at all. Okay. Okay. So we just we're just involved with exploration and mm. reserve estimations and resource and estimations yeah, and all. Yeah. And then we we also deal with uh, geo environmental studies, uh, landslide studies, uh, earthquake, climate studies. Mm. We have a research center at the Antarctic Polar Division, wow. polar studies and uh, marine marine survey mm. Mm. like coastal surveys airborne surveys mm. so a lot of um, 
uh, it's a survey it's a survey organization no? mm-hmm. so yeah basically we we deal with all that yeah. and generating the data and making it available to the public public at the, the, at the, at the end of the day we're we're public servants mm-hmm. it has to benefit the public only mm. so we make it available in you know on our on our website on our reports in our offices and all mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. available So, so it's a it's a huge organization it and is. it's also a very old organization yeah, right? it and is, yeah. like you were saying like it's very broad when you talk yeah. about like the things that they cover yeah. i mean you personally won't do everything but you know no. as an organization mm-hmm. it, it, it covers quite a lot yeah it, so getting into like the specific of uh um your your career and especially like your first thing that uh, at shillong yeah and your eight year can you talk us through some of like the fsps and okay like you know Yeah, so FSP is nothing but the field season program. Okay? Field season like, program. Yeah, every okay. year we will have a field season program starting from April and ending in March the, n- the following year. Right. It's sort of like a financial year mm-hmm. sort of mm-hmm. thing. So what we do there is like we'll be assigned different projects. Mm. So the first six months uh, we'll be doing pre-field studies. Mm. We'll, do, we'll be researching about our project, uh, what has been done, what is yet to be done, mm. what, what we have to achieve for our our project mm. and then we also look up mm, like the logistics part of it because we have uh, the next six months will be field field work mm. like we have uh, like a requisite of 120 days in a year for field work you have to yeah, okay. yeah. Mm. It, it's not 120 for every project some projects will require 30 days 60 days 90 okay. days so depending on the project but most of them will have like a requirement of 120 days field mm. work so after that pre field work is done will be will plan our field field trip mm. so uh, just last year my last fsp was um, uh, about uh, studying the metamorphic rocks of nagaland mm. so my field area was on the extreme border of nagaland covering areas like eastern parts of kifiri and like eastern part of peg okay so uh, we um, we camped out at various uh, tourist lodges mm. and We have government guest house and mm. all the, that we have to like uh, utilize when we are right. staying there, no? And it took us two days to reach the the first spot actually, mm. like so it was quite challenging and the road conditions were not not good. But yeah, as we all know. Yeah, <laughs> and then like once we're there in the field, what we do is we'll go around and we'll col- start collecting data. Mm. Like the, we'll we'll plan our traverses. Like one day we'll cover this section, this section, this section. So mm. we'll mostly travel along the roads. We'll take foot tracks traverses w- like however way we mm. can collect the data like we d- we try not to leave out any gaps mm. because once the field season is done like you're not going to yeah, get, yeah, get yeah. another chance to go back for for that so so we'll compile the data there we'll come up with a map a raw map mm. or a base map we call it mm. so we'll collect all that we'll collect collect rock samples water samples so whatever is going to help um, mm. like achieve the objectives Then once we come back, we'll start analyzing the data, analyzing our samples, and then we'll write a report, mm. which will go under like two or three stages of scrutiny, and then mm. we'll be sub- submitting it to the Ministry of Mines. Okay. Yeah. How I mean, uh, of course, you've uh, eight years in Shillong and mm. mo- about two years in Dimapur now. Yeah. Posting so like ten years of service. Yeah. Which would have been an interesting some of your interesting FSPs. Like if you can just mention one or two. Yeah, actually, because they're all different projects, right? Yeah, so like, yeah. Like every FSP that I was involved with had something like that I liked. Mm. Like the first two FSPs that I got, I I got projects for um, seismic microzonation, like mm. earthquake studies, right? Uh, in Aizol City and Kohima City. Mm. So the first two years, two and a half years, I was doing seismic uh, studies. Microzonation. Yeah, microzonation. Okay. We call it. Yeah, it's a technical term that uh, just to demarcate areas which mm. are like. But we will be touching yeah, on this we'll a little we'll bit we'll also. We'll yeah, we can talk mm. about that later. And then um, the next three, four, at uh, three FSPs, I was dealing with limestone exploration mm. in uh, Litang, a place called Litang Valley in Meghalaya. Okay. So limestone exploration for cement production, mm. and then the following two years including the last fs three fsps i was dealing with um, systematic uh, mapping like geological mapping mm. basically uh, actually before that 2020 i was in landslide studies mm. one fsp okay. in landslide studies yeah so um if i could, if i would um, pick out a favorite fsp mm. like which i enjoyed the most it would be i think mapping 
mm. geological mapping because basically geologists are known for that mm. producing geological maps okay. for everyone else to like benefit from na? you call this so thematic mapping yeah thematic yeah. specialized thematic mapping Matlab, where was this um, done um two years of specialized thematic mapping i did in doki okay uh, yeah the famous we, yeah, yeah yeah in geology we have a term called the doki fault mm. like a fault uh, a like a fault, fault line, line which yeah. is responsible for uplifting the Meghalaya plateau mm-hmm. as we know mm-hmm. today mm-hmm. because south of Meghalaya we have the Bangladesh plains right, right, and yeah. then all of a sudden we it's have up, that yeah, Jarabunji, yeah. the Doki right. and all that like so that's called the Doki rise. fault yeah. line yeah do, the Doki fault which has uplifted Doki that fault, okay. so two years I was doing that mm. uh, al- of course along with my field partners and mm-hmm. all uh, my supervisor and all uh, so we we studied that it was fascinating Uh, we're still in the process of like the, um, making sense of the data and mm. we're trying to publish our work so yeah so i would i would say that that was the most interesting yeah I, I d- this one interesting thing that yeah. when you're just talking about you're still in the process so like for example you you did an fsp yeah. like you're talking about the uh, thematic mapping of docky fault, Doki and fault right yeah. or uh, th- whatever it may be so mm. like once that's done you've moved on to another fsp yeah, another yeah. project yeah so do you still have any attachments with the previous work that you did or oh, yes. that gets handed over to someone else or what, no. what happens no 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 once it once an fsp ends mm. like it's it's done okay but then the report will write the report and handle the ne- new fsp simultaneously okay okay and then once our report is finalize and approve it'll mm-hmm. be published okay. as a gsi report okay, okay but then the data that we generate from i mean during our fsp we can mm-hmm. still use it to publish our yeah, like yeah, in and journals and, yeah, and all yeah, no? yeah, yeah so yeah it's a continuous process and okay. like sti- it, since it goes through a lot of peer reviews and like it takes a l- long time mm. like uh, it, yeah we're still analyzing our data and right, right. Yeah, discussing it